let's take a look at the most recent Turtles of Grayskull figure I happened upon today. Raphael, the hard-headed size specialist. This is definitely something that is uh, specific to whatever area of the country you're in, but where I live, I've almost completely given up on on finding things out in the wild at Walmarts or Targets or whatever, uh, finding things that I'm that I'm currently in the market for. It just it just doesn't happen anymore. When I'm going up and down toy aisles these days, it's really just to see if I can convince myself to purchase something I've walked past a hundred times before. Um, I really I don't expect to find things like this uh, out in the wild these days. Um, so with Raphael here, I had him on pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store. Saw him on the shelf today, obviously had to pick him up, immediately canceled my pre-order. Um, the box is not in the best of condition, but again, I'm harping on this too much, but it is so rare. I come across something at a, a local Target that I don't even care what condition it's in. I just, I have to get it. And I do say that with a little bit of embarrassment because while I am very much on board with this line, um, and we'll probably get a lot more of the figures. I am also kind of shaking my head that I'm such a sucker for whatever nostalgia bait they throw out there. But all that uh, nonsense aside, let's let's take a look at Raphael. I don't exactly know what it was about the. Um the product shots of this guy that had me kind of underwhelmed thinking like, uh, I know I got to pick up all four turtles, but I wasn't looking forward to him. Uh, but I was wrong. I, I am liking this rendition of Raphael slash Ram man, which is, which is the perfect masters of the universe counterpart to Raphael, uh, just from a, uh, personality standpoint. Well, wait, I take that back. I mean, uh, Raphael is not exactly an idiot, uh, but he is sort of the bruiser of the group. I love the uh, the helmet, which is removable. It kind of sits very loosely on him. It's a soft plastic. I love the turtle shell on top. And his weapons are way more satisfying than I, I thought they'd be. So he's got a sword that still very much is his sigh, and this is amazing. His other weapon is a, uh, a steel fist that he wears like a glove with uh, a sigh kind of welded to it. That is my favorite weapon from this line so far. And this is the uh, mini comic that comes with this figure if you are interested. The articulation is your basic origins articulation. Um, the shell that does come off, does this come off? Yeah, the shell comes off and is a shield just like the uh, the other turtles. And you can store the sword there. He is a solid, he's a solid addition to this line. I like him a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, from a design standpoint, he's, I think kind of distinct, uh, no, there he goes. As I was saying, he's not over-designed. He's simple, but there's enough going on that's really, really interesting. Um, and it's, it's it, unlike some of the figures in this line so far that don't really sort of encapsulate both toy lines, I feel like Raphael does so. Kind of respect, respectably um, gives us Motu as well as TMNT. And here he is with his two brothers, uh, the two that I have thus far. I don't have Mikey yet. He is still on pre-order. I, uh, I doubt I'll get lucky and find him on a on a target shelf so I'll keep that uh, I'll keep that pre-order but so far yeah I mean it's it's a solid enough line and they, they look pretty good together and that is just a quick look at Raphael from Turtles of Grayskull.